This is a food packet in-flight individual. It was developed for use aboard long-range cargo passenger and bomber type aircraft during emergency flights where more than one meal is required. So, you know, um, for long bombing missions and, and for troops who were traveling long ranges, say like 12 hours and longer, you know, this is what they'd be eating. It's a lot like an MCI or C ration when it comes down to its contents. And um, it doesn't have cigarettes, but it does have a can opener and also tea in its accessory packet. Check out this weird silver foil pouch accessory packet. Can opener, chewing gum, sugar, cream, coffee, tea, paper napkin, salt. Yes, paper napkin, not toilet paper. Packed by Southern Packaging and Storage Company, Greensville, Tennessee. Oh wow, and check this out. Towel, paper, cleansing, wet. A ready to use wet towel for the cleaning of the hands, face, and body without water. Nice. <laughs> crackers. Just a weird golden can of crackers. Got a pecan cake roll. Hmm. 69638. I don't know what the lock code's all about. The can doesn't look nearly as bad as the next two. I mean, the outer contents say turkey loaf, apricots, pecan cake roll, and crackers, and accessories. So like, yeah, check this out. Oh wow, something burst. Look at this thing. Oh man, the apricots blew up. I'll bet that took out the turkey loaf. Well, maybe it's lucky. Yeah, let's move this spoon. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, listen. Oh, that's kaput. Yeah, oh, oh, wow. Cool. Well, that's a canned fossil. Man, listen, oh yeah. Hey, is that a, a pin down there? What the heck? Look at that sitting in the bottom in there. It's kind of weird. But I'm not even going to try and but I think it's like infused in there anyway. Some old pin. Anyway. Yeah, the, um, the in-flight food packet. It was produced as far back, I found, as um, 1955. Pretty sure it was produced even earlier than that. So this still feels moist. Like, <laughs> I don't even want to rip this open. It's like... How many of these are left? I mean, look at it. It says nice pack products. You know, on these long flying missions, you could actually heat these things up in these B4 ovens. And also, these things called hot cups. I'm going to show a couple pictures of those. But yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. And you know what I'm wanting to do? I want to get this out onto a tray. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna go for the back. That's always the way to go with these interesting accessory packets. I wouldn't mind keeping the front halfway decent looking for. But what's inside? First off, napkins. See, not toilet paper. I actually give you little napkins. That's cool. Look at that. It smells interesting, like a uh, chlorinated pool. Like, oh well, salt. Neat little white pack. All right. Dry cream product feels perfectly fine. But skim milk, lactose, cream, and sodium hexametaphosphate. The uh, the, the skim milk, I'm skeptical. Old dry milk, you can't trust it, even if it's been not in contact with anything. These feel fine, but I'm not going to consume those because it's playing with fire. You don't know. Trust me. Instant coffee. That's looking perfect. Packaged by Vitex Food Products Company, Los Angeles, California. Interesting. Something out on the West Coast. Usually it's out in Jersey, New York. If you guys haven't noticed, a lot of times it's Northeast production. So that's pretty cool. Two of those. And everything is looking perfect and feels fine, you know. It's very cool. Granulated sugar. I'm just in an interesting color pack. It's just these different packs. Another one. Another sugar. Another sugar. 
Wow. That's beautiful. K Tool and Die Company, Union City, Tennessee. Look at that. And an instant tea. 0 0.65 gram net. Right. How could I forget? Wrigley's PK. And this stuff's great. That's looking great. All right. And this is what I plan on having. Spoon I'm gonna keep sealed. Just gonna go regular standard MRE spoon. I don't even know if I should open the apricots or not. And yeah, let's open the apricots. Let's wear gloves, just in case. You know, when in Rome, use cheap garden gloves. I mean, what do I have to lose? Whoa, check this out. What the heck is that thing? It's tiny. It's like a weird little fossil brain. You know, it actually kind of looks like a, a truffle. There's a truffle look to it. That's kind of crazy. Look at that. That's all you get. Bon appetit. That's a real beaut. So that's the apricots. What's left of it? It's just old fossilized pulp. Alright. Let's go for the loaf. Well, I suppose we ought to go for the loaf. Oh, jeez. What am I getting myself into? Mmm. Mmm. Turkey loaf. Fossilized. Now that looks like a weird little fossilized alien thing. Alright, so I'm just gonna pour that right on the tray. Ugh. Nice. Okay, let's go for the crackers. You know, I'm I got high hopes for these. Nice hiss. Look at those little guys. Oh, they smell pretty stale. How many do we get? Wow, they give you a bunch of crackers. They give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crackers. Not bad. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's check out that pecan cake roll. Might as well. Ooh, now that's it is. Might have mercy on me. Probably won't. It's probably me. Yeah, it's probably me stuck in there. Whoa, there you go. Not bad. Hey, in all its glory. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but I don't know. Those nuts in there, they're probably rancid. This thing will last for display now. And, I mean, it's, it was never really perfect to begin with here, but... You know, got a nice little look at it. Still gonna try out a cracker. Perfectly fine. Tastes great. Alright, let's check out some tea and coffee. Instant coffee for starters. You know me. I'm my instant. My coffee instant classic. Oh yeah, and this stuff. Man, I got rust all over my fingers. I was eating that cracker. Well, I wasn't eating the part I was touching. So I suppose I'll survive. 
All right, so that's looking fine. The T. A little chunky. I'm gonna skip the sugar. All right. Well, first let's check out the coffee. You know that's gonna be good. Oh yeah, Old Faithful. Ooh, actually that's a little more acidic than usual. I still like it. I think I like the East Coast coffee and some more in the West Coast. All right, let's check out this tea. Yeah, that needs the sugar. It's very bland by itself. Actually very good, very good unsweet tea, but I'm just, I'm wanting a little flavor. You know, with this cracker. Gotta do it right. Hmm, with the sugar brings it to life. I remember that with this uh, old instant tea mix. It's best to just add like one or two packs of sugar with it. Hmm, has a real, Kind of almost caramel undertone to it. It's actually a really good tea. Mm, not bitter at all. <laughs> this thing. I am not messing. Like, okay. It's not supposed to be that dense. Um, it's shrunk. And there's tons of rancid nuts. Wrigley's PK to conclude it. Um, yeah, the crackers are just really dry. Nothing wrong with those. Rust all over my fingers. Jeez. But his PK is always perfect. I can guarantee to you that's going to be like perfect. What I love about it is, yeah, it always holds up. Yep, no exception. I always save these outer labels. Mmm, this comes awesome. Well, that just about does it. The food packet, in flight, individual. They came 10 to a case. 1200 calories, a lot like an MCI, just slightly different components. You know, the, one of these had date pudding. I gotta find one of those. Definitely something different. Definitely something that was worth checking out. And, I mean, get a load of those fossils. Look at that. Anyway, the in flight food packet. Cool. This is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com. Hope you liked the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll be coming back at you with something new or old. Alright, cool. See ya.